Hey, welcome everyone to the ARCHICAD user webinar, the ARCHICAD best practices update, where I'll be sharing 10 cool tutorials based on new features that have been introduced in ARCHICAD in the last few years. Uh, my name is Eric Bobro, and uh, I'm sure many of you have seen me a few times before. If you're new to my work, I uh, want to give you an extra special welcome for joining us. And what we're going to be talking about are the best practices for ARCHICAD. This has been a passion of mine ever since the beginning when I started with ARCHICAD. This is my 30th year, believe it or not. ARCHICAD started in 1982 um, as a project by um, Gabar Boyar and a couple of partners in Hungary. In 1984, they turned it into a commercial project a uh, product called ARCHICAD, and uh, with the help of Steve Jobs, actually getting, we're able to smuggle back into uh, communist beyond the uh, Iron Curtain into Hungary and create um, ARCHICAD on uh, one of the first Macs. Uh, I started in 1989, so only a few years after that, and it was at that point that ARCHICAD really was coming into its own as a tool for 3D modeling for architects that created a virtual building. Um, that concept of the virtual building where you have an intelligent 3D model that you model that you can derive drawings and data from all integrated around the same um, database of information. Uh, now more commonly called building information modeling, but it's basically the concept that Graphisoft pioneered back then. Now when I first started working with ARCHICAD, I of course was new. I didn't know uh, much about it, but I found it fun and easy to model. And I gradually learned more about drafting conventions because I don't have a background in architecture. But over the last 30 years, working with architects almost every day, um, I speak the language and you know I feel part of the community. And in fact, um, I'm proud to lead a part of the community who uh, use ARCHICAD and want to use the best practices methods. Uh, when you have the best practices methods, you can get your work done faster, uh, less stress because you're in command. You don't have to rework uh, nearly as much because you're doing things the right way, the most direct fashion. Um, and that's what I love to teach because I have a technology background um, and uh, I, I love architects. I, I have a brother who's an architect. Um, he's retired. He was a fellow of the AIA. Um, and uh, so it's been my passion and become my mission to help ARCHICAD users like yourself to use the best practices methods. So what I found in the last few years is that the changes continue to come every year from Graphisoft that allow us to do more and more and better and better things with ARCHICAD. Uh, but that if you're a veteran, you may very well be just continuing to use the practices that you've developed over time and have missed out on many of the cool things. So today we're going to be looking at um, 10 cool tutorials that relate to features that have been introduced or revised, updated, expanded in recent versions of ARCHICAD, say somewhere in the last one to five years. Um, so some brand new this year, some have been around for several versions, but all of these I picked out because they're important, they're useful, and they're so easy to miss if you're not, you know, sharpening your saw, continuing to learn ARCHICAD um, every month, every, every week and every month, can you optimize the way that you work. Now I'm doing this in conjunction with the launch of my new ARCHICAD Best Practices 2020 course. 2020 is chosen because I, it's a, 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 going to take me all of 2019 to uh, develop that course. So it'll be ready or finished um, by 2020. And also 2020 vision here in the US um, is the uh, rating for perfect vision. So I want to develop a way for you all to have perfect vision on ARCHICAD best practices. So with all of that being said, let's get started with parameter transfer, which is a very, very powerful way to speed up your work 
in ARCHICAD. We take a look in 3D here, where it's just more dramatic when we make certain presentations um, here. The eyedropper has been around since, oh, I don't know when that started. If I eyedrop something, it picks up the settings. Now we're in the window tool. And if I use the syringe and inject it, you can see how the window changes entirely to be just like the other one. Uh, now you can get access to the eyedropper and syringe using these little buttons up here, or you can use the Option or Alt key on the Mac for eyedropper, the Option on the Mac, Alt on Windows, and the syringe is Option Command, and on Windows it's Alt Control. Now here's something that's very interesting. If I wanted to um, change things so that they, um, are more selective, we now have some controls here. So I'm gonna eye drop this window here. And then if I inject it here, of course, what's gonna happen is it's gonna change um, the uh, style. But let me, let me show you a couple of variations. You saw how when I injected with the syringe that it changed the window style entirely. Now, if, I'm, if I have this window like this and I wanted to change it to a different style of window, within, uh, by selecting it, I can go into the library part and I can click on another window and change it. But look at what happens to the preview here when I do this. The size and proportions changed and we also lost the sill and other settings about that. Now, if we want to avoid that, we can use a different version of parameter transfer. This has been around for years, but it's still rarely well, let's say not frequently understood by users. And that is when I hover over this, instead of just clicking on it, I can use the syringe. So command option on the Mac, control alt on PC and click. And you see how it changes to the new window type. You can see how it, it's changed the name here, but it kept the size and it kept the style there. Now, if I wanted to change this to the, uh, this window style here, I can eye drop it. And when I inject into it with a syringe, there's a new feature that was introduced just in a couple of years ago, where as I hover over this, you can see there's this little um, prompt that says transfer all settings. That is saying that if I click, it's gonna transfer all of the settings. But if I click on the actual prompt, transfer all settings, it then gives me some choices of other options. Now these are presets that you can create and customize for your own purposes. I'm gonna use the one that says exclude elevation, height, size, anchor, and ID. It's a lot of words there, but it's basically saying don't change the size or the position in space and don't change the ID. The, in other words, if it's window 10, you don't wanna change that. I'm just gonna click on this. And now what you'll see is it changed to a similar style window, but without changing the size, which is a very, very useful thing to do. Now, how did that happen? When I go over here and I click on this, there's an option for element transfer settings. So now in these recent versions of ARCHICAD, you can create presets like this that have whatever name that you choose, you can just create a name and they can exclude different things. For example, by unchecking the height or the top offset here, or the size like this, you can basically make sure that in this preset, it doesn't transfer those settings. If I go to transfer all settings, of course, it will have that checked. If I go to other ones, you'll see some other variations um, like that. So to create a new one, you click on new, you give it a name, it's gonna initially be the same as whatever you were clicking on, and then you can make some modifications. You can view this by setting, so you can see sizes, et cetera, um, down here, or you can group it by tool, and then you can say, well, when I'm working with the window tool, for example, or windows and doors, this preset will turn on and off certain things. So for example, this one will transfer the ID, this one, will not, so the window number or the door number there. So that's the first one of our features um, that we're gonna look at uh, here. Uh, let me show you another example of this. If I eye drop this wall here and I inject it into this wall because I wanna make maybe make the siding uh, continue around and I just, um, uh, let's see if I, sorry, if I use the standard one here where I say transfer all settings, so that's what we had. You notice how the wall 
now is too short because it took the height of that wall. Let me undo that and hover over it and use the option instead of transfer all settings to exclude the elevation and height, etc. And then it will keep the original elevation while changing that. So I can go in here and it remembers the last one that I had. So if I just click, it'll use that option there. So very, very powerful. You can use it for all sorts of element types. This has been Eric Bobro, and I want to thank you for watching my ARCHICAD video tutorial on parameter transfer. This is the first of 10 cool tutorials I'll be sharing taken from my ARCHICAD Best Practices Update live webinar. You'll find the next one on graphical favorites in the playlist on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ericbobro. Now, if you liked this ARCHICAD video tutorial and want to up your game to get the most out of ARCHICAD, I invite you to check out my ARCHICAD Best Practices 2020 online training course and coaching program. Complete information is available at bobro.com 2020. This is a comprehensive course for users of all levels, including a basic training section called Quick Start and dozens of intermediate and advanced lessons carefully organized to give you a well-rounded understanding and mastery of ARCHICAD. I cover the core principles of using ARCHICAD effectively, including the workflow and the methodology, the step-by-step -step actions that you take to get things done. As a member of the ARCHICAD coaching program, you can get my personal assistance on your ARCHICAD challenges as you apply these best practices methods in the context of your own projects. You can send in questions to me via email as well as directly in the live group coaching webinars where I frequently open up projects sent in by users to explore what's going on and fix problems and show how to do things. So if you'd like to get the most out of ARCHICAD with my assistance, then please check out ARCHICAD Best Practices 2020 at bobro.com slash 2020. This has been Eric Bobro. Thanks for watching.